Diana Demark here, ra ra ra. I hope you're fine and well. It is dull and grey and raining here today in Copenhagen. My hey ho, you know what I say, we make our own sunshine. Uh, we're on to week two of a clutter free January. Mm, link is there. Last week we were uh, in my kitchen, and today I'm talking to you about clothes. Three things storage, you'll get a, a, a tour of how I store everything in here. Uh, because just by changing how we store things, it's going to make it really, really easy for us to see what we need to declutter. I'm also going to be talking about our daily uniform. We all have some kind of daily uniform, whether we are working uh, at home or whether we are working in the corporate world. And also I'm going to be talking about capsule wardrobe. And don't worry, we're not going to be going out um, buying new stuff. You know me, the canny Scott, we're, we're going to be finding our, our capsule wardrobe using what we already have. So all my clothes and accessories are here in the master bedroom. Uh, in Europe, generally speaking, we don't have walk-in wardrobes, uh, closets. So I've got a chest of drawers there. And then if I just turn you a wee bit to the left, we have the wardrobes which were built for this house in 1933. And nobody has touched them since. So, so those are uh, original features. This is my chest of drawers and where I get ready in the morning. And as I told you last week when we were working in the kitchen, the easiest way to declutter is to keep like with like. And, and, and this will be an example of that. In here I've got my hair things, what I need to do my hair. Uh, perfume, I keep that out of the light. Uh, I've got some scarves in here. I used to have four boxes of scarves. You've seen me decluttering over the years. Now, now I'm down to one. Woohoo, go me. Uh, the only scarves that I don't have in here are my winter scarves. For example, like this uh, blanket one that I've got. I keep those in the hall cupboard because it makes more sense for me to have them ready to go when I'm putting on my, uh, my winter coat. And I have my uh, makeup in here. Uh, th this is where this is where I get ready in the morning. Now, next drawer down, I will spare you from that for that one. Unmentionables, <laughs> which is my uh, my underwear, but I've got it folded KonMari style, and I've got it separated. You know, socks, uh, underwear, um, under slips, things like that, camisoles. Here we have my trousers, and I've got them into different categories. They're also folded KonMari style. Navy blue jeans that I wear as part of my basic uniform. I've got nicer jeans, uh, trousers, navy blue trousers, my leather trousers and thermal trousers. And also in here I keep the belts that I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. And then in the bottom drawer, this is where I keep my sleepwear and my active wear. And, and it's the same thing, I've got it con-married um, in boxes to keep them separate. Band t-shirts, uh, running t-shirts, and also I've got kind of ready-to-go sports sports gear. So if I'm running outside, uh, at the moment I'm, I'm wearing my ther thermal running tights uh, and one of my favourite t-shirts. And if the weather conditions are really bad, we have a, a, a really old treadmill. And then I've got a pair of running shorts and a, and a small vest top for that. So I'm kind of ready to go. So there's no excuse for it for not doing your exercise. And my other running gear, I keep that downstairs. My running shoes, my running gloves, uh, my running jacket. And in the first section of our wardrobes from 1933, I've got some hanging space. And this is where I keep uh, my jumpsuits uh, and my dresses, which can be worn all year round. Uh, I can layer these up with things. And then in the next section, I have con married all my sweaters and t-shirts. And let me show you how I do that. Clear storage boxes. I use the ones from Ikea, which are from the uh, Samla series. And it's really easy to find your stuff. When you sort them like this, it's really easy to find your stuff. And also when you take something out of the box, the rest of the pile isn't getting all messed up. Recognise uh, one of these from Sheldon on the, the Big Bang Theory, a flip folder. You don't need a flip folder, you absolutely do not need one. Uh, th this is our one that we've had for years, it's now being held together by duct tape. Uh, you can actually make your own flip folder, lots of YouTube videos on that. You're going to basically flip fold it, like that. You've got your t-shirt like that, and then one more flip, and then it fits really nicely into the box. It's just the right size. So uh, that's how I do it. 
<laughs> when I was looking at this box, I was just thinking, and I, I better tell you about our famous Danish uh, swap parties. Now, in Denmark, you know, we love to recycle. We, we're, we're very green and we like to get the most out of things. Like if we're not using the item, it's still got life left in it. Let's pass it on to somebody else and maybe get something in return. So we have uh, swap parties. And I was just thinking here, if I'm in this box, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five items from this box, plus the uh, blouse I'm wearing today. These have all come from uh, the, the clothes swap parties that I have with my friends. Always great fun. And, and, and if, you, if you're interested in doing one of those uh, yourself, once restrictions lift, uh, look on my wardrobe playlist. All the details are in there. And we don't just swap clothes, we swap jewellery, we swap kids toys, books, kitchenware, you name it, we swap it. And this is the bag that I take to our clothes swap parties. I keep it in the bottom of my wardrobe here so that any time I, I find an item, you know, uh, some jewellery or some clothing that I'm not using, I, I, I get it ready, it goes in the bag and then that way I'm ready to, to go to the next clothes swap party. So you can do the same, maybe you've got a, a bag or a box that you can keep right here in your, your wardrobe or your closet. As soon as you find something, you, you put it in that box and you're done. And in the hanging space in my wardrobe, I'm doing the same thing, keeping like with like. Those are my jackets and occasion wear. All my short sleeve tops are together. My long sleeve tops are together. And within those, I keep them by colour so I can easily find what I'm looking for. And let me just give you some tips on how we can declutter easily. Super simple. Turn all your hangers so that they're all facing the same direction. I like to do mine with the open part at the front. And then from that moment forward, every time you take something out and you wear it and you enjoy wearing it and you think, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep that, you put it back the other way. And that does two things. First of all, it makes it really easy for us to spot what we are not wearing. We can simply look at the hangers and say, oh, I haven't used that for a while. I, I have been wearing this. So it, it can help us to let go of things, declutter things that, that we, we don't like, we're not using. Or if you're a wee bit bored with your clothes and, and you're wearing the same old, same old all the time, you can easily find something you haven't worn for a while and use that as your outfit and inspiration. And my jewellery storage, that is also by colour. And it's just hung on some hooks which I have in my wardrobe. Let's go over to earrings. So my earrings and also my bracelets are here where I get ready in the morning. I also have a little dish where I put my jewellery for the next day when I'm planning my outfit. And my um, things like my, my family heirloom jewellery and uh, really expensive jewellery, that's hidden somewhere else in the house. So this is all my, my kind of costume jewellery. So on the top, uh, brooches that I wear hoop earrings and attachments that can go onto them, uh, more bracelets uh, and ring selections. And then this one, which isn't quite so accessible because this one normally sits on the top, are things which I'm not wearing quite so often. Uh, I've got things which can go onto my hoop earrings, little bits and bobs. Earrings that I wear when I go swimming, when I'm in swimming competitions, ice swimming competitions. Um, necklace extenders and then underneath is the ones that I wear all the time. I'm sure you recognize those from from many of my outfits. So now we can start building our capture wardrobe using what we already have in our wardrobe. Don't worry about a set number of things. Uh, you, you may have looked at my wardrobe and thought, oh my goodness, Diane's got a lot or you may have thought I've got 20 times of what Diane has. It will depend on a lot of factors. Uh, first up, where are you in the world? I'm in Denmark. We have four very distinct seasons. So I need clothes that take me through all different temperatures and weathers. Uh, and also, the, we need to think about our daily uniform. What is your daily uniform? You may have worked in the corporate world. You're now working from home. Uh, perhaps you recently retired uh, on maternity leave. We really need to focus in on what are we wearing here and now. We're not building a capture wardrobe for some kind of fantasy life that we have. But what do we read right here, right now? So we're going to work out our daily uniform. Uh, and also you'll, you'll probably have some other um, gear that you have. Exercise gear, 
uh, perhaps you have a uh, cleaning clothes that you like to wear and I, I get this question often about do I clean in the clothes that I'm wearing every day and I wear it in my regular uh, I wear my regular clothes for cleaning you can see all my cleaning videos where, where you see me doing that, that uh, because I don't use any toxic products and all my things are washable but you may have a uh, cleaning clothes if I'm doing a paint job around the, the house then of course I put on an old shirt if I'm out in the garden I've got my wellies but we're just, for a capsule wardrobe, we're just thinking about what are we wearing on a daily basis, everyday clothes. Uh, don't worry about uh, occasion wear. Occasion wear, as the name states, is stuff that you're going to wear very occasionally for a big gala dinner or maybe for a funeral. So, so we're just talking about the things that we wear on a daily basis. And the easiest way to find out what you're wearing on a daily basis is to set up your outfits a day in advance. Now, you know me, I do the, the fly lady system. And the night before, I put my, there we are, on the back of our bedroom door. That's where my outfit goes. And I don't actually wait until the evening to do that. I normally do it when I'm putting away laundry. I'm in this room, putting away laundry, set up my outfit for, for the next day. Uh, and you may want to set it up. You can put it in a basket beside the bed. You can put it in the bathroom. And it just gives us a little more time to actually maybe add an accessory, a scarf, a piece of jewellery. I'll show you that. But also, it means that next day no excuses we've got the clothes ready to go especially during lockdown it will it will lift your mood you're going to be more productive uh, and also as I've, I've said several times you know the very day that you're not dressed you'll get that call asking you to help out a friend drive them to emergency room <laughs> been there done that so do yourself a favor and look at your outfit the day before now how are you going to jazz up what you already have we're just using what we already have in our wardrobe and I'll give you a few examples of, of, of how I do things. Say for example I've got, um, I'm wearing a cardigan, maybe I've got a, a white t-shirt on underneath. I can add a wee bit of interest just by tying on a, a little scarf. I've got videos of how I tie my scarves, that's on, on the playlist. The aqua sweater that we've got here, you know, just a basic cosy aqua sweater. I could use a scarf, quite often I wear a scarf with this one, or I could add on my granny's crystals, maybe you've got a, a piece of jewellery that you haven't worn for a long time just for a wee bit of uh, extra interest. One thing that's really useful if you've got different climates uh, where you are, where, where you're going through different seasons, is one of these little false uh, collars. I'll, I'll show you how that works. And these just change up the look of, of a plain sweater. This is especially useful for me as we're moving into summer where it's too uh, too warm for me to wear one of my long-sleeved blouses underneath uh, but this looks really nice paired with my white jeans and add you know uh, a little brooch or I could add um, some of my favorite uh, pearls I could go for one of my colored necklaces so there's lots of ways to make to take one piece of clothing and make it look completely different. And there are lots of different capsule wardrobe systems out there. I use uh, Dressing Your Truth. It not only gives me what the colours that look best on me, but also it helps me to understand why I'm drawn to certain uh, types of fabrication, that I like heavier jewellery. Um, even the patterns, you may have noticed that I really like stripes and polka dots. So there, there are lots of, uh, there's lots of help out there for putting together a capsule wardrobe. But start off with what you're already wearing. And that's, that's the, the best way to do it, is to look at your outfit the day before. And then you'll, you'll quickly see a pattern of what you are using a lot. And, you know, as I said, just add a wee uh, special touch to it. And we're going to add in a little bit of hygge, a little bit of coziness to our clothes, our wardrobe and our routines. In the morning when I get dressed and in the evening when I get undressed, I've usually got a candle going. Maybe you can add in an LED candle. I've got my portable diffuser. And also if you have something like, you know, a special necklace that's belonged to a family member or a brooch, if you're, if you're not going to wear it, perhaps you can display it in your bedroom. Put it on a coat hanger, hang it in your closet so you can at least uh, see it and appreciate it. And if you need any more tips on taking uh, one item and being able to wear it in three different ways, I've got lots of ideas on my wardrobe playlist. And don't forget to check out the Clutter Free January playlist. 
the YouTubers are giving you all their best tips so we can really work together and make this a fantastic clutter-free month. Out with the clutter and in with the hygge. I'm doing a giveaway at the moment. You can win a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. So I hope to see you for that. Uh, and on that note, I'm going to grab my pom-poms. Live long and prosper. May the Danish hygge be with you. And I shall see you very soon with a ra ra ra. Boo.